Happy Easter. Christ is risen, and uh, this Sunday we get to come together around the good news that he is with us. In fact, the gospel reading is when the disciples uh, are surprised once again by Jesus, uh, and he has them, he says, you know, touch me, um, watch me eat this, this uh, fish, right? Know that I'm actually with you. And then, it's not long before Jesus is going back to the Father. So what does all that mean? What does it mean for us living in a world full of resurrection, even though we can't hang on to it, we can't see it for ourselves? Well, that's what we'll find out. And then we've got some announcements for this week. Um, Bible studies. Uh, we just started with two new adult Bible studies uh, on Sunday mornings. It's uh, Bible biographies, looking at Jesus' disciples. And so join uh, the class in Luther Hall at 9.45 to 10.45. Uh, and you can also uh, Tune in online if you're watching services from home through uh, Zoom. And then on Wednesday evenings, there's an online-only study, uh, and I'll be leading this one. It's on technology and the Christian life. Uh, that's at 7 p.m. And uh, get to find out, you know, who's the master, who's the slave of all these things? Is it us or is it the technology? Or maybe it's Jesus. And, uh, and then how do you actually live that way? Uh, so I hope to be able to see you there. Excited about that technology. I'm psyched. It's actually a really good study. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I'm sharing it because it was so good for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, we also have CMT signups happening now. So, if you're interested, sign up. It's super easy. It's in your email blast and it's in a tab on the Ascension Lutheran website. So, uh, couldn't be easier. Share with all your friends. And we're trying to get uh, enough kids to really make the music happen. So, uh, there's that. And also, Friday uh, at 7.30, for the teenagers, we're having like a bonfire and, and uh, just some time for fellowship and Steve and I will be there. So uh, come and uh, invite your friends and all that good stuff. So, yeah. Hey, and if you've been looking to do something active and you've been missing some church fellowship and you're a bike rider, uh, on May 16th, we're looking to get together, um, well, anyone from the congregation who wants to bring a bicycle and we're in a great neighborhood uh, for biking. Uh, we're going to use the Greenway and, and some other routes that some of the local uh, members are familiar with. And we just want to have like a family, uh, church family, but then your family too. Kids are welcome. Bike ride together. And uh, just share some time after service uh, where we can be outdoors and uh, get back into being in fellowship together. So uh, mark your calendars for after the service for Sunday, May 16th. Finally, we've been discussing uh, which precautions here at the church uh, we might begin to make optional in the upcoming weeks and months. And uh, one that we've decided uh, already to begin with is um, temperature taking. So uh, not this Sunday, but the following Sunday, we'll no longer be taking temperatures at the door. Now we do ask that you continue to follow all the other precautions. Remember we're a family and um, part of our, our love for one another is making one another feel safe and, and seeing to everyone's needs. Um, and so uh, we do ask that you not come to church if you are sick, that you continue to wear the masks. And also please remember that uh, at our church we make decisions as a family. And so our leadership has been meeting, bringing together all the different uh, input of the congregation and ways and concerns that we have for people um, when they meet together, decide together, and vote together on these things. Uh, we're really blessed by that. Sometimes it does take a little bit longer. So we do ask for your prayers and your patience as we work toward uh, what we know will come, uh, that glorious future when we can see each other face to face and have God there with us in this beautiful, remember it's, it's his image that we're made in. And, uh, and that's what, what we're holding out for. Uh, so we look forward to that. Please, Lord, in the near future. And uh, we ask for your continued prayers. And we look forward to seeing you on Sunday. The Lord be with you.